Hi, and welcome to this video of Dynamics 365 Talk, where we will be talking about how to set up the knowledge base search control on the case form so that we can automatically filter knowledge base articles based on a lookup form on that case record. But before we get started, I wanted to introduce myself real quick. Um, my name is Dion Taylor. You can also look at my blog where I post new articles every Tuesday at d365goddess.com or you can follow me on Twitter at d365goddess. So let's get started. So let's go ahead and open a case record so I can show you the functionality that I'm talking about. So the way that I have have this set up in my instance is basically that I have here this subcategory field that I can fill out on my case form. This is a custom field that I created, but you can obviously also look, use different lookups, uh, maybe a field that's already in there like the subject field, or again, you can also create your own custom field for that as well. Then I also have knowledge base articles that have the same field on there as well and I'm basically also tying subcategory values to those knowledge base articles so let's take a look at that real quick I'm just gonna navigate here to my knowledge articles and this is a list of my knowledge articles and here we see that I also have the subcategory on there let me just actually sort by subcategory so we can see here that I have different things populated in a subcategory field. Delivery didn't arrive, information request, information request, two articles related to that sub subcategory, and some related to product damage as well. So let's go back to the case. And we see here that subcategory subcategory is product damage, which will now auto filter my results here of my knowledge base articles to only show those knowledge base articles that have that same product damage subcategory field. So it's damaged or defective products and we have here a return authorization. And if I go back to my knowledge articles, again, we see here that these two items are tied to that subcategory. Now I have the option to allow users to basically turn off that auto filter. And then as you can see, we get an additional, as you can see here, an additional knowledge base article. Now, how do we go about setting that up? So let's go into the advanced settings and let's go here to customizations, customize the system. Then you would expand entities. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger here. So let's expand the entities and then search for case. And here we go. So we're going to go to forms and I'm actually going to use case to form. Uh, that's where we're going to enable this functionality. So you see, I already have the control on there. So I'm going to remove that so you can see how you can add this from scratch. So I'm just going to click on insert and then I want to insert my knowledge base search control. So you can put a name in here, knowledge base search control, right? And this is the regular, right? What do we want to filter default language? We can put, turn on some automatic suggestions based on the case title. We can enable ratings. When we want to email this out, who are we going to send this particular email to with the content, right? Which is the article. And then this is a section right here where it says configure automatic filtering. That's the piece that I'm talking about. <clears throat> so as you can see, you got to make sure that you enable relevant search for automatic fil for this automatic filtering to work. And you need to make sure that the knowledge article attribute is added to that quick find view. So let's do that first. Let me just go back here. I'm actually going to cancel this and let's go ahead and let's first 
enable the search and you can do that by navigating to administration and then system settings and if you scroll down here this is where you can enable relevant search so you just got to make sure that you actually check that box and then you can click OK and that's all you have to do for relevant search and if you click here then you can actually decide which entities you want to enable for categorized search the next thing we need to do let's go back here to our solution is we want to make sure that that attribute is added to the article quick find view so let's go to knowledge article knowledge article here it is and we're going to go to the quick find view here it is so I added the field that is called subcategory right over here Right? So there's two things you can do here. You can add it to the view column, but you also need to add it to the find column. So if I scroll down here, you can see here that my subcategory field is enabled. So it's going to search that field as well. And again, you can add it to the view columns as well. And that's basically adding it right here on that view. And then lastly, you want to make sure that you also add it to the form itself so you can actually populate data in those records right so let's open that form and here it is my subcategory right so i can actually link the knowledge articles to a subcategory okay now let's go back to that case form real quick let's open it up And again, let me go ahead and remove this. So again, we're going to insert KB control right over here as well. We want to turn on automatic suggestions. This is just a regular setup, right? Contact. Here we go. And again, here is the important thing. So first of all, we want to enable automatic filtering. And then I want users to be able to turn that off as well. Now we're going to actually add that filter. So which field on the knowledge case, or I should say knowledge case, knowledge base, knowledge article, I should say, are we going to filter on? I'm going to do subcategory. And you can see here there's other lookups that are available, such as the out of the box subject field. I'm going to use subcategory. And then it's going to say your source entity attribute so in this case, my source is the case entity and the field is subcategory, right? So I want to show any knowledge articles where the subcategory equals the source entity case in our case, right? Subcategory. I'm going to go ahead and save that. I'm going to go ahead and set that. And then we can just go ahead and save that and then publish that out. And that's really all you have to do in order to set up the automatic filtering. I hope you guys find this video to be helpful. If so, give it a thumbs up and thank you guys so much.